Yeah, we, we might find out that Cassie was responsible and that would be awful, but then, you know, at least she'd know and, and we'd know what happened to Wilder's baby. Isn't that what we want? She hung up on me. Isn't that great? Maeve's in trouble. With me, the police, sort of. That baby that they found. You know, one DNA sample and the police would have their answer, but will she make Cassie get it? Oh, well, Maeve's scared. I get that. Yeah, and I, I do too. I mean, I'm, I'm petrified. If we find out that Cassie really did abandon her baby and, and bury it, I mean, that's a nightmare. But she can't run. Well, sometimes it's a good option, just for sanity. Oh, sometimes it's just better to woman up. Hey, so, uh, sorry, I just remembered you were... You were there, the hold-up in ED. I was. God. Were you feeling? Yeah, OK. I didn't sleep that well, but it's nothing compared to Cassie's baby. So where are they staying? Did they go out of town? How would I know? Well, don't give up. Call her again. Be nice this time. De-escalate. You are very wise. Billy's first idea, he wants to be the donkey from Shrek, and then he changes his mind, he wants to be an Autobot. Sorry? Rise of the Beast. Right. And then he changes his mind again, he wants to be a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Yeah, his rugby coach, Owen, is having a party for the kids at his place. Everyone is going hard out. Oh, that's a pain. No, it's awesome, actually, because we get to hang at his house and not walk the streets for hours. And my ice cream costume, which actually isn't going to work anymore because Maeve was going to do the hokey pokey. Hey. You know I have panic attacks, right? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just I'm, I'm here to talk to you any time if you're feeling stressed. Oh, I'm okay. Your hands are shaking. Oh, I'm just a caffeine addict. And you're scanning the exits looking for danger. Situational awareness. I've just been listening to an SAS podcast. We should probably stick to the medical mysteries, eh? Right. So I'm, I'm just worrying about nothing. Well, my team and ED were threatened yesterday. It's only natural to be on edge. It's true. I caught one of them. I wanted to pummel him, but he was just a kid, Nick. I had to hold myself back. What, so you, you're feeling bad about defending our team? Is that why you're tertiary? Yeah. Yeah. The staff are my responsibility. If anyone got hurt... And did it bring it all back? The, sh the shooting? No, no. It was different. Soon as someone says gun, all I can think about is, is Quentin and, you know, TK paralysed and... Don't say his name. Oh, wait. Security will be rock solid from now on. So I'm not stressed. I'm serious. Focused. Well, that's good. I will still be keeping an eye on you. Well, you don't need to do that. Try and stop me. <laughs> See ya. See ya. So the funeral for Max Lynch, does anyone know the arrangements? No, not me. I don't have any contact with the family and it's just... It's just Eddie now. Hard to forget? At the party, that is? Yeah. How are you cleansing the house? Uh, Drew's been water blasting. No, I mean spiritually. Do you need a priest or holy water? Oh, any excuse to call Father Gay, but <laughs> We're okay, but uh, I think we might need some holy water for this place. Everyone's affected, though. This is why we have to embrace Halloween. It's my first one, and I'm loving it. Mm, and you used to be a one-woman party poop at Halloween, right? Mm, you should see my costume. Wait, don't. Don't tell me. Slutty nurse? Mm, that's for amateurs. I'm all about the fear factor. Oh, oh sorry, everyone. My bad. One drop dish and you're jumping out of your skin. Yeah, you're the real queen of scream. Well, you should come trick-or-treating with me and I'll show you a night of frights you'll never forget. All right, everyone. Listen, I know yesterday was rough, so let's all take it easy on each other today. If anyone's feeling vulnerable or just uncomfortable, you talk to us, yeah? We're here to help. All right. That was nice. Oops. I figured we needed it. And just quietly, I'm, I'm talking to my counsellor, so you don't need to worry about me. Good. I should book my own session. You should. I only sort your issues out with Maeve. Better than ignoring it, I suppose. We'll take five. Call her now. I'll cover you. Thanks. 
Maeve? She left a message. She's not coming home and she's not going to the police. Mama. Yeah, I just have to calm down before I call her back. Just acting like a couple of kids. Incoming peeps! Hi, uh, male teens, drowsy and incoherent. Uh, couldn't get a name out of him, no ID. File on a building site, GCS of 11, hypertensive and tachycardia. Kids mucking around. Witnesses say he fell, just an accident, but I found these with him, so it might pay to do a tox screen. It's a clastian. Yeah, well, there's more. Fentanyl, morphine. It's from here. This is the kid I chased, the one I almost bashed. Well, how can you tell, Marty? They were wearing masks. Well, it doesn't matter. Freeze us now. Uh, put all that in a patient property bag, I'll give it to the police. Do you want me to call them? No, no I'll do it. Just give him stable first. Radiologist report shows an intracranial bleed, but it is small. Yeah, are you okay treating him? Yeah. I, I just feel like I've got an attitude coming on, like I want him locked up for 10 years. Well, I can't have that kind of attitude in here. Yeah, I know. He threatened into your life, and Marty's, and all of your colleagues, I understand. Is there anything I can do out there? Let us know when a side room comes free. He doesn't need to be in recess. We're just waiting for a space in the theater. Okay, and the police? They've been informed, but he's not a flight risk, so. We're not a priority, nice. Have you heard back from social services? No. Do you want me to chase him up? Please. My name's Marty, Dr. Walker. Mate, I need to know, did you take any of the drugs from your backpack? No. You sure? Yeah. Can you tell me your name? The game's up, mate. The police are on their way. I didn't want to do it. I mean, I didn't want to hurt anyone. I didn't want to steal the drugs. They, they made me. Okay, kid, look. <laughs> I want to help you, but I need your name. Lucas. Lucas. All right. Good start. I feel pretty disgusted with myself. Forget it. You're just a kid, and I was a... You're not still beating yourself up. I don't want him to go to prison. We'll just leave all that to the judge. He's too young. He won't even make it that far. Mm. Just a telling off. That's not enough for armed robbery. Nick. Well, I'm just saying what everyone else will say. Once it hits the news, the whole nation will be saying it. Right, MVA. See you on the other side. Okay, Lucas, I'm just going to take your blood pressure, if that's okay. Are the police here? Not yet, mate. Will you stay with me? One of us will be with you. We're a social worker. No, I want you. Oh, we've got a fan. Okay. I'll talk to the police when they get here and I'll stay with you. I'm sorry for everything. Okay. I don't want to go to jail. Don't think about that right now. <laughs> My mum. Well, I, I can call her. You just give me your number. Mum. Lucas? What did we miss? We missed Jason's silent bleed. He's arrested. Starting compressions. Where is everyone? Get the crash car. Yep, I'm going to get it now. Drop more adrenaline. No. We have chopped him five times. He's had no output or spontaneous respiratory effort in, in 40 minutes. I'm not giving up. Marty. Give him adrenaline. We have to stop. There is nothing more we can do. Okay. I'm calling it. You did your best, really. I'm going to go update the police. You should have moved them to recess. What difference would that have made? We had all the gear, no time wasted. You didn't know. Didn't it. know what, Nicole? A child just died on my watch. I'm sorry, Lucas. I shouldn't have let you go. I should have. Hold on tight. You got you that help you need. How old are you?
Oh, brilliant. The blood sucking noose. That'll help. Happy Halloween to you too. Is he in a bad mood because he's in trouble? Ignore him. Doesn't she look great? Was that Twilight? Yes, well done. My wife's a big fan. It's little Joe's first Halloween as he dressed like a little pumpkin. <laughs> he's already a little pumpkin. He's thriving. Hey, do you know how to build a flat pack cot? Actually, yes, I do. Ah, this could be a little Halloween miracle. <laughs> Pete, what brings you here? I brought beers. In that case, come on in, buddy. I was going to chuck you some lollies because they've been banging on the door all night. Why, well, you've been trying to bang your cock together? You know about that? Madonna says you're having some trouble. You know, I'll get it done. Mate, been there, done that, nearly lost my rag. See how you doing. So, I followed the instructions. I watched a bunch of videos. Mm -hmm. Must be missing a piece or something. Me and Louisa nearly gave up, but we got there in the end. You just need a helping hand from someone with experience, and also, beer. One beer. Why? Ah. We're doing a crap job, Pete. My babies are gonna be sleeping on the floor. Two to go. Oh, take it in. Yeah, at least we'll get the beers finished. <laughs> mm. We'll get your cop done too. Oh, we better. Because Madonna is counting on me, you know? She wasn't even sure she wanted my kids. No way. Well, oh, it's a big life change. She's already a parent to a teenager, and man, I just looked after my nephew for a few years. It's not the same. What if I'm no good? All new dads think that. What if I can't provide for them or protect them? I know it sounds paranoid, but the thought of letting them down. You won't, mate. You care too much. You'll step up. Yeah, I will. I gotta be there. Like you're there for... Louisa. Louisa. You're stepping up for Louisa and your bub. Joe. Joe. Oh. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna step up for Madonna, cause I love her more than more than words can ever say. I drink to that. Me too. Hey, to the woman we love, Louisa. To Madonna. Mm. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little bit dizzy. Well, you better sit down. No, I'm fine. Sit, or you'll have to fight me. I'm fine, okay? I just took a little too long to get something to eat. Well, stop waiting and chow down. All right, bossy. I know you are, but what am I? Oh, look! Keep eating. I am. Oh, wow! Oh, look at how cute you all are. We're not cute. We're scary. <laughs> Just like my mom. Oh, you look so adorable, Kiwa. Your mom will be so proud. And you're a beehive, Marley. Yeah, a beehive with a boss car. I hate old women. Oh, me too. Are you a vampire? Thank you for noticing. You aren't real, though, because vampires drink blood, not muscles. That's right. Oh, Selena Madonna, this is Owen. Hi. Hi. If I look familiar, it's because I've been a patient here. He's my rugby coach. Just pitching him where I can. So many kids to wrangle, not enough parents. Well, bless you for helping out, Owen, and bless all of you for bringing Halloween fun to our patients. Oh, come on, kids, let's go and count all our candy. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Is it true what I just heard about Lucas? It's true, all right. Oh, my goodness. What's true? Yeah, and everyone's losing it, especially Easter. It's an actual miracle. It's incredible. I have to go back to work. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, save my muffin. There was a patient in the hospital that we thought had died, but we were wrong. So he came back to life? Not exactly, but he is alive. And um, that's great news. Is he a zombie? <laughs> is he a vampire? No, uh, vampires and zombies are all made up. Hey, 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 thank you for waiting. Wow, you kids all look amazing. You are ages. Oh, I was stuck in surgery. But at least it wasn't for Randerson's. You don't like those people anymore? They are history, right? Problems that weren't true. Oh, I'm all sorted now. It's good to be back on the good ship shorty, even if it is a crazy call. Hey, thanks for helping out tonight. That's all right. My pleasure. Yeah, above and beyond. Now, do you think you can help Marley become an all black? Did you get to see your mum? Um, yes, but she was kind of busy. Speaking of busy mums, here's yours, Kiwa. Oh. Hi, my darling. I'm so sorry. Mummy has some office stuff to do, and I had an operation. That's all right. I'm going to try and be a better mum, okay? 
Hospital. Marty had a patient come back from the dead, and I had a vampire trying to suck the blood out of me. Turns out I'm anemic. You what? So no Halloween miracles here then, huh? Just a whole lot of drinking. Oh, babe. Not a whole lot, just, um, just a couple. Getting to be a bit of a habit, isn't it? Uh, sorry, Madonna, that's my fault. I brought them with me. I thought you knew how to... I thought so too, but... It's my fault, okay? I know it's a pain in the neck. But I will get it done. Before our babies get here? Of course. And hey, one day we'll laugh at our cot astrophy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Madonna, you okay? Madonna! She was never prescribed to Clastian. She has an issue. Why would she be? Uh, it, it wasn't used to assist in her recovery, or, you know, sometimes it relieves anxiety in some patients. Uh, no, no, we kept her a close eye on her medication. Anything that she might become addicted to. I mean, she didn't maybe keep it from you? Because she's a sneaky drug addict. That's not what I mean. Not possible. She was in a really bad way, and Maeve handled all of her prescriptions. Uh, okay, well, maybe I got it wrong and I just misread the file. Should I get in touch with Maeve? No, it's all good. When are she and Cassie back? Beats me. Sorry. No, I... no, it's, it's fine. Well... Actually, it's not, but what can I do? Maeve is stubborn, and she'll just do whatever she wants to do. Spouses, huh? Mm. Well, yours is a sweetheart. How's he doing? Oh, he spoke to his counsellor. I think it helped. Great. At least he's not running away from his problems like a certain wife I could name. Mm. To dinner with Auntie Nick. Um, come and have breakfast with us. Oh, no, no. I was um, just here to offer my taxi services. Sorry? Oh, I just thought I could drop the kids at Kohanga. Oh, um, no, no, we, uh, good, we're on schedule. I want Mai to take me. Oh, well, Mari's already gone to Mahi, but you need to go and brush those knees. Hold on, darling. Go on. <laughs> what? Um, Mari slept on my couch. Last night, he's still there. You guys need some time alone. No, we don't. Just half an hour. I'll clear the kids out. I'm not doing it. Hey, everyone knows that my marriage is far from perfect. I mean, my wife has done a runner. I'm, I'm not here to judge you. Yeah, everyone else will. Her stupid, blind Esther couldn't even see what was happening right under her nose. No one will say that. And no one needs to know about it anyway. But if, if I can help. What did he say to you? All I know is that he's heartbroken. He loves you, yes, more than anything in the world. He's using you. What? He is a liar and he's got some cheek sleeping on your couch. Okay, I don't want to use the C word. Please don't chuck anything at me. I know that counselling can be scary. He's a drug addict, Nick. What? He's a classian. Now you know. There must be some sort of misunderstanding. It's been confirmed. It, it can be managed professionally. Please don't take a side. No, no, yes, I'm, I'm here for you both. He, he clearly needs help. He used Cassie's name. Excuse me? It's a case Janice prescription only. Yeah, so you can do what you want, but he cannot set foot in this house ever again. Did you have a sleepover? Uh, yeah. Why? Well... Hey, uh, you all sorted for school? Yeah. Yeah, have you got your rugby year? No. Mm, up you go. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, thanks for letting me crash. I was a bit stuck. Yeah, what happened? Nothing major. I'm sure we'll smooth things over. If Esther kicked you out, it must have been a little bit major. She just got the wrong idea about something. Marty. Yeah. I, I noticed the signals a while ago, and I I wanted to intervene. I should have. I don't understand. Anxiety and, and panic are like my besties. I know them well, and I, I saw them in you. I'm on top of it. No, you're not. Hey, I can help you, but you have to be honest with me. I have been. Cassie, 
Sorry? Well, you prescribed it, and no one would know if it went direct to you. Esther told me everything. The thing is, the clastion would actually be really good for Cassie. Off-label use. You committed prescription fraud. You don't understand the clastion, Nick. It would help you too. Are you not even going to say sorry? You still have panic attacks, right? You wouldn't with the clastion. Get real, Marty. Just tell me, you say it out loud. You are an addict and you want my help. Listen to me, Nick. I am trying to get this drug into a new clinical trial. I have data, evidence. I've made notes. Say it. I'm not an addict. I'm... I'm sorry, but you're going to have to find somewhere else to stay. You take drugs, Nick. Everyone does, just to get by. You just count yourself lucky that it is me here and not Maeve, because she would have knocked you over by now. Listen, there are scientific processes... Don't you dare try to gaslight me! Get out! And don't come back until you can be honest. I didn't realize Pete and Louisa were having such a hard time with Joe. We should help. What? Pete and Louisa, we should offer to help them. When they ask if they need help? People don't always ask for Lee. We should offer to babysit, you know, give them a break. Don't we have enough on our place without taking on their problems? Don't be so uncharitable, Villy. It's the least we can do. I suppose. I'll talk to you later. Well, it wasn't me. Well, who then? Um, it might be my fault. What do you mean? You know how embarrassed I am? She said no one had to know. Yeah, well, I told Drew that Marty slept on my couch. Maybe someone overheard. Great. I was just so worried. Yeah, that makes two of us. Can you leave, please? Esther. My priority is Kiwa and Picky. This cannot be easy. Everyone must think I'm an idiot. It doesn't matter what other people think. I think I'm stupid. It was staring me in the face for so long and I just made excuse after excuse. No. And for how long? What about all the other people you took down? I mean, poor Boogie, I sent him off to Pornicky. Well, you can make that right. For now, you just need to look after yourself, yeah? This feels so shit. I went full bad cop on Marty this morning. I really let him have it. Good. No, it wasn't good. It was over the top. He needs a wake-up call. He took advantage of you, Nick. No, he knocked on my door because he knows that my home is a safe place. He came to me, and what did I do? I, I kicked him out just like you did. You did the right thing. But who's got him now? He's an adult. He's out there thinking bad thoughts and hating himself. He needs serious. I can't help him. Yeah, you can. Because you love him. Oh, God, I wish I did it. Look, there are people... Waiting to help you guys. Yeah, gossips. No, no, they love you. And Marty, and we're all just waiting for a chance. Okay, accounts are, are waiting, so can you get on to the, the bureau budgets? Right. Today, please. This is a monster. Don't. No, I just tried calling him and he's not picking up. 